Hello everybody, today I'll be making a circle cutting jig attachment for my plunge router. It's made from half inch birch plywood. I'll be using the base plate from this router to mark layout lines on the jig later on in this project, so I decided to remove it now just to get it out of the way. Before ripping this board to width at the table saw, I first need to make some marks. I'm not entirely sure why I decided to mark both ends and then strike a line all the way across, but I did. It's not really necessary, so you don't have to if you don't want to. Using that layout line, I rip the plywood to width at the table saw. There are a number of layout lines needed for this jig. I start by marking the center of the board. Using a compass, I mark for the upper diameter of the jig, the router base plate, and the lower diameter of the jig. Using a square, I strike a line across the center point of each top and bottom radius. These will be used as stop points for the groove I'll be routing later. I also use a large framing square to finalize the shape of the jig. Here's a quick view of all the layout lines. There are two slots that have to get routed for this jig. One that goes all the way through the jig base and another one that goes about halfway through. The one that goes about halfway through is what the T-nut will slide within. Um, I initially used the wrong size router bit, which is what you see me realizing right now. Luckily, it was smaller in diameter than the one I needed to use, so it turned out to not be a problem. Here's a closer look at the routed slots. Following my layout lines, I use the bandsaw to rough out the shape of the jig. I then use the spindle sander to finalize the shape of the jig. Using the layout lines that I marked earlier, I place the router base on the jig and mark for the screw holes. I then use my drill press to drill through holes and countersink for the screws. Here's a closer look at the star knob and T-Track hardware I'll be using. The star knob bolt was a little bit longer than I needed it to be, so I'm using a metal cutoff wheel here to shorten it up.
All that's left to do now is attach the jig to my router and try it out. I had to go get some longer screws at the hardware store because the factory bolts that came with my router were a little bit too short to attach the jig. Luckily they were a standard size and I was able to pick them up pretty easily. The first time you plunge your router through the base of this jig into a piece of material, you're essentially creating a zero clearance connection between that material and the base of the jig. I designed it this way on purpose so that when routing in materials such as plywood, you would limit chip out or fraying of the wood fibers. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. If you want to get notifications on future build videos, please subscribe to my channel and enable those notifications. Plans are available for this jig on my website via the link in the description section. I hope you guys have a great 4th of July weekend and I'll see you guys next time.